Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vime, and today I'm going to show you how to download Safe Exit for Xbox. Safe Exit is an app which allows you to leave dev mode a different way without having to go through the trouble of unchecking the delete my games and apps. All right, bet. So in the description below, I have a link to where you can get this download. It should come in a zip file that says Safe Exit Updated. And all you would have to do is right click on it. Make sure to extract to Safe Exit Updated so that it extracts into a folder. And then once you get the folder, all you would do is open it up and you would get this safe.exit.icon icon and then you should get the dependencies and there should be three dependencies and then right after you do that we're gonna head right back to the Xbox device portal all right so first thing we're gonna do is at the bottom right where it says remote access click on the remote access settings make sure the enable Xbox device portal is checked and then if it is at the bottom where it says authentication you can click on this and set up a username and password so that when you go to the xbox portal if anybody by any chance has your information they would be allowed to drag things onto your xbox as well so if you set up a username and password this will prevent that from happening and then once you have done that at the top underneath enable xbox device portal you will have two different browser links that you could search all right bet now all we have to do is type in one of the two links into our web browser are on PC and we're gonna do that right now all right so I opened up my Google Chrome now for one of the two links it gives you just type it in for me the first link usually never works I have no idea why but they provide two links just in case and then just click enter you may be greeted with a screen like this if you're doing this on Google Chrome all you would have to do is click on advance go down to the bottom go to proceed and if you set it up the authentication it will ask you for the username and password so just type this in all right now that we're at the xbox device portal all you have to do is click on this ad right below my games and apps click on choose file make sure to look for the safe exit download that you just downloaded so i'm going to go into the folder go into safe exit icon and then once you hit that click next now it will add for the dependencies so click on choose file go into the dependencies folder and then we're going to make sure to select all of them so just click one go to open and then go back to choose file go to the next one and then we're going to do this for the last one and then once you do that just click start once it says package successfully registered you should be done and we're going to head right back to the xbox and test it out and make sure it's working properly all right now that we're back on the xbox make sure to go down to see the safe exit press the select button on it with the controller go to view details and make sure this is set to an app if it is set to a game make sure to change it and set it to an app and then once you do that just press b and then we're just going to press a on it and make sure that it works And then this little icon should pop up you should get a gray screen just like this don't worry it's everything is working properly it should take about a couple minutes just be patient and it should be good and just like that you have successfully installed safe exit for dev mode and i hope this helped if it did please hit that like and follow for more and i'll catch you on the next one